guys it's Maddie um, what's good hey y'all how you doing I hope you're having a great day um, this will probably go up on a Tuesday happy Tuesday taco Tuesday yes so today I'm gonna be filming some story times in a one kind of from my childhood and little funny things I used to do um, these are all pretty lighthearted um, yeah so let's get into this. So the first one I want to talk about is I thought I killed my brother twice when I was a kid. <laughs> and I'm not being dramatic. I honestly thought I killed Carter twice. So if you guys don't know who Carter is, here's a picture of him. Um, he's 14 now. We are five years apart. And yeah, so I think the story that happened first was... Um, I wanted to flip Carter over my back. Like, you know, when you grab someone and, like, you do the thing, like... Like, you're standing and they flip over. Yeah. So, I want to do that with him. He was smaller than me at this point. He's huge now. And, um, I went to flip him and he didn't know he had to put his feet down. And he hit his head on the floor. And I was trying to lift him up. And I either he passed out or he was just in a lot of pain and really angry at me. And was just laying there. But we still don't know to this day if he passed out or not. Um, we were being babysat. And we just, we didn't tell our parents. And the babysitter didn't tell our parents. And I was telling my, this story recently to my mom. And she was like, oh my god, you should have told us. Because like if he had a concussion. But anyway. So I was grabbing him by his arms. And I was like trying to stand him up. And I was like, Carter, Carter. And then all of a sudden he just starts sobbing. It was okay. But I thought I, I thought I killed him when I was like dragging him. The second time, um, we were on the trampoline and we had one with the net, but we didn't close <laughs> the zipper. Um, so there was like the little opening and Carter made me mad. This is not the best big sister moment, if we're being honest. He probably pushed me first or hit me first, but he made me so angry and I just pushed him. And he fell out of um, the little hole and hit his head on a milk crate. That's what we would use to get in. And um, he just laid there again, and I thought I killed him. But this time, he, I got down there, and I was like, oh, my God, are you okay? And he, like, stood up and punched me. So, yeah, but I was, like, looking at him like, I just killed my brother. So, yeah, those aren't, <laughs> uh, yeah, best big sister moments for sure. So this is one with Elizabeth. And I moved around sometimes when we were kids, not too much, and, like, Sometimes kids at school would just annoy us, and we were best friends. We were best besties for the resty. And we would, instead of having sleepovers with our friends, we would do that sometimes. What we would do, sometimes we, okay, we would have the same room when doing this. I would pack a bag with clothes, like pajamas, outfit for the next day, um, my hairbrush, like not my toothbrush, just like my hairbrush, and I would knock on the bedroom door, and I'd be there for a sleepover, and this became a lot more fun when we had our own rooms, um, for a couple months we did, I think it was like six months, and then we just go right next door, <laughs> um, but we did this for a really long time, we did this even when we moved to Texas and shared a room again, this was just so much fun for us, we got to pretend to be the other one's friend, and I remember we'd even tell our mom, like, this is my friend. And she'd, like, play along to a certain extent. She'd be like, okay. Like, she never told us not to. Um, but that was so much fun. I don't know if we were just weird and did that. But let me know if you guys did that. Because, like, she was my best friend. We want to hang out. And I don't know. It's just something we did. <laughs> hey, guys. So, it's Madeline editing. And I just wanted to throw in um, this quick tidbit. So, Elizabeth and I got our own rooms. I think when I was 16 and we pretty much always shared a room there was a point when I was in third grade where we got our own rooms for like six months and we were always like we want our own rooms like oh, no, 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 no. even though we were like always up each other's butts anyway we ended up getting our own rooms and we were always in the other person's room and my parents were just like why like we would even spend the night in the other person's room we both have full-size beds now, and we would just have, like, sleepovers. We don't act like we're going over to the other person's house anymore, but even to this day, um, like, when I would come home from college last school year, um, I just got out for summer, 
I'd come home and we'd I'd spend the night in her room um, and we'd sleep in the full-size bed um, yeah so that's something I don't know like we'll watch movies and stuff and just um, spend the night together that sounds weird but you guys know what I mean and my parents are just like why like, why are y'all like this I don't know it's something we but we still kind of do to this day um, so yeah that's something that I don't know. Are you guys like that with your sister? Like, we are 18 and 19 now, and we still, um, do that, so. <laughs> it gets crappy. So this is one that <laughs> we were not being the smartest. So when we moved to Texas in 2009, I was 9, Elizabeth was 8, Carter would have been 4. We, um, had to entertain ourselves quite a bit which was fine but sometimes it led to some stupidity on our part so my dad was actually next door at the time oh he's actually across the street and we decided that it would be hilarious to throw our baby blankets like our doll blankets like you know the little rectangles you have for baby dolls into the ceiling fan and they would fly off and it was just so funny to us and we threw the blanket into the fan and the fan stopped it got tangled and eventually, like, I don't know, even remember how we got the blanket down from the fan. I might have, like, picked Elizabeth or Carter up because at this point I would have been bigger than both of them and put them, got it down, but the fan still wouldn't start. So I had to go get my dad and be like, hey, we were uh, throwing baby blankets into the fan and it stopped. And he's like, well, did you turn off the switch? And we hadn't, which I guess was really bad for it. So my dad came back and fixed it. He just turned it off and turned it back on again and it started again. But he was not happy with it. Um, I had a pretty dope childhood, if we're going to be honest. Um, so these were just some funny little stories I wanted to share with you guys. Let me know, like I said, if you guys ever did stupid stuff as a kid. If you did the sleepovers. If you have a similar experience of thinking you killed your sibling. <laughs> Uh, so like I said, my name is Maddie. If you guys do want to click on my picture down there, you can check out my whole channel. I've been on here for a few years. I have quite a few videos. I also have playlists if like you want to watch just my pets or just my vlogs or just my hauls. Um, so yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope to see you guys in my next one. Bye!